Are you tired of losing money in the Forex market? The Forex market is a highly volatile and risky place, and without a proper risk management strategy in place, you could easily lose all your investment. But with the right approach, you can greatly reduce your risk and increase your chances of success. Let's discuss the key principles of risk management and some actionable steps to implement a risk management strategy in your own trading. First and foremost, it's important to understand the concept of risk reward ratio. This means that for every dollar you're willing to risk, you should aim for a certain amount of return. For example, if you're willing to risk $1, you should aim for at least a $3 return. This will help ensure that even if you do experience losses, they'll be offset by your gains. Understanding how much risk you're comfortable taking on is crucial for determining your risk reward ratio. If you're a more conservative trader, you may only want to risk 1% of your trading account on any given trade, while a more aggressive trader may be comfortable with risking 5%. One way to determine your risk tolerance is to consider your financial goals and how much you're willing to risk to achieve them. For example, if your goal is to generate a steady stream of income, you may want to take on less risk than if your goal is to grow your account quickly. Additionally, it's important to consider your current financial situation, including your income, savings, and other investments. Another important aspect of risk management is setting stop loss and take profit orders. Stop loss orders automatically close a trade when it reaches a certain level of loss, while take profit orders automatically close a trade when it reaches a certain level of profit. This helps to limit your potential losses and lock in your profits. A good rule of thumb is to set your stop loss at a level that would signify a significant change in market conditions and your take profit at a level where you believe the market will reach its peak. When determining the levels for your stop loss and your take profit orders, you'll want to consider factors such as the volatility of the currency pair you're trading, your risk reward ratio, and any key levels of support and resistance. Additionally, you'll want to consider your overall trading strategy and how it aligns with your financial goals. But risk management isn't just about setting stop loss and take profit orders. It's also important to diversify your portfolio and not put all your eggs in one basket. By spreading your investments across different currencies, you can minimize your risk and increase your chances of success. One way to diversify your portfolio is to invest in a variety of different currency pairs. This could include major pairs like EUR, USD, and GBP USD, as well as more exotic pairs like USD MXN and EUR ZAR. Additionally, you may want to consider investing in different types of currencies, such as commodity-based currencies like AUD and CAD. It's also crucial to be mindful of leverage when trading. Leverage allows you to trade with more money than you have in your account, but it also increases your risk. It's important to use leverage responsibly and only trade with the amount you're comfortable losing. When using leverage, it's important to be mindful of the amount of risk you're taking on. This means only trading with the amount you're comfortable losing and not risking more than you can afford to lose. Additionally, you'll want to consider factors such as your risk reward ratio, your trading strategy, and your overall financial goals. Have you ever wondered why some traders are successful while others fail? One of the key reasons is that successful traders keep a trading journal. A trading journal is a powerful tool that can help you identify patterns and areas for improvement in your trading. Keeping a trading journal allows you to track your progress and see what's working and what's not. By analyzing your trades, you can identify patterns in your trading and make adjustments accordingly. For example, you may notice that you tend to make impulsive trades when the market is volatile, and by recognizing this pattern, you can take steps to avoid making those types of trades in the future. One of the most common mistakes that traders make is not having an exit plan in place. 
An exit plan is crucial for managing your risk and maximizing your returns. Before entering a trade, it's important to have an exit plan in place. This means knowing when you will exit a trade if it's not going in your favor, and also when you will take profits if the trade is going well. For example, you may set a stop loss order at 5% below your entry price and a take profit order at 10% above your entry price. By having a clear exit plan in place, you can avoid letting your emotions drive your decisions and instead focus on your trading strategy and goals. Hedging is another risk management strategy that involves taking offsetting positions in two different markets to minimize the potential for loss. Hedging can help you protect your investments and reduce your risk in the Forex market. For example, if you are long on EUR, USD, and are concerned about a potential fall in the value of the Euro, you could take a short position on a currency pair such as USD CHF and offset the potential loss. In this way, if the Euro does fall in value, your losses on the EUR USD trade will be offset by your gains on the USD CHF trade. This allows you to protect your investments and reduce your risk in the Forex market. Risk adjusted performance measures are also used to evaluate the performance of a trading strategy by taking into account the level of risk involved. Using a risk adjusted performance measure can help you evaluate the effectiveness of your trading strategy and make more informed decisions. One popular risk adjusted performance measure is the sharp ratio, which compares the return of a trading strategy to the risk free rate of return, adjusting for the volatility of the strategy. For example, if a trading strategy has a sharp ratio of one, it means that the strategy is generating a return that is equal to the risk free rate of return adjusted for volatility. A higher sharp ratio indicates a more effective strategy. Additionally, you can also use other risk adjusted performance measures such as Sortino ratio and Kalmar ratio to evaluate the performance of your trading strategy. By using these risk adjusted performance measures, you can better evaluate the effectiveness of your trading strategy and make more informed decisions. The Forex market is constantly changing and it's important to stay updated with the latest market news, economic indicators, and geopolitical developments. Staying updated with the market news can help you anticipate market movements and make better trading decisions. For example, if you know that there is a major economic announcement coming up, you may want to be more cautious with your trades and have tighter stop loss and take profit levels in place. There are a variety of ways to stay updated with the latest market news. One way is financial news websites such as Bloomberg or Reuters. Risk management is a crucial aspect of Forex trading and it's important to have a solid plan in place to navigate the volatile market. We've discussed various strategies and techniques that can help you manage your risk, such as setting stop loss and take profit orders, diversifying your portfolio, keeping a trading journal, and staying updated with the market news. Other methods such as hedging, price action analysis, position management, and using risk adjusted performance measures can further help you to manage your risk and increase your chances of success in the Forex market. Remember, success in Forex trading is all about managing your risk and maximizing your returns. And by keeping these strategies in mind, you can become a successful trader. Good luck in your trading journey.